Pure OS 10, codename Byzantium, is finally here. It's now shipping in all Librem 5s, Librem Minis, and Librem 14s. If you're still running Pure OS 9, Amber, this video will give you some reasons you might want to upgrade your OS. Pure OS is friendly, secure, and a freedom respecting operating system for your daily use. To say the Librem 5 is highly customizable is a bit of an understatement. With a pure GNU Linux stack, you can test out thousands of desktop and server apps with an ever-growing list of adaptive apps. And with the release of Byzantium, things are newer and work even better out of the box. In line with one of our core goals, the Librem 5 ships with an encrypted root file system. This makes top-of-the-line encryption accessible out of the box without locking users into a software jail. On Librem products, you control all the keys. When you first get your Librem 5, head into Disks and set up your new encryption password. Select the top device. Then select the 31 gig Lux partition. Under Settings, tap Change Passphrase. The default pin is 123456. Make sure to set a strong passphrase here. Your password can include numbers, symbols, and a mix of upper and lowercase characters. It's a good idea to back this password up as it will be needed every time you start your phone. In the user settings, make sure to update your login pin as well. This is the password used on the lock screen. It's also used for admin commands like installing software. The last password you'll need to set up is GNOME Keyring. This is where user account data gets stored encrypted. When attaching to a service like Nextcloud, you'll be automatically prompted to create a new keyring. Like with your encryption passphrase, it's a good idea to keep these securely backed up in a password safe. If you don't have a password manager already, GNOME Password Safe is simple to use and it's in our software store. A few new Pixel Perfect apps have made their way into the default lineup. GNOME 2048 has several supported board sizes out of the box. Deja Dupe is an excellent backup solution. This makes it simple to keep an automated backup on an SD card. Megapixels now ships by default. This lets users snap a quick image without installing or carrying an extra camera around. GNOME Maps is also now installed by default. We're now testing preliminary SIP support in our Calls app. This allows users to make and receive calls from a SIP provider over an internet connection. Hello. Hey the Matrix protocol, in use by Element.io, has made its way into chats. While the support is still in testing, you can already enable Matrix chat and test it out. XMPP is also baked into chats directly. This means you can use XMPP in the same place you read your text and Matrix messages. Proving one app with many supported chat systems is better than many apps implementing their own single system. High contrast mode is now directly integrated into the main settings. This is especially handy if you're out in the bright sun or need more contrast to see your screen well. This tweaks the CSS of the FOSS shell to make it as visible as possible. Feel like tweaking things? How about the GTK CSS file? Want to find a new game or app? Open the software store and have fun exploring a new, open, and ad-free community. Order your ethical Librem smart device at puri.sm.